Welcome again, guys. Our video today is about the dangers of hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is a highly toxic gas that is considered a common cause of death in the industrial workplace. It is formed by decaying organic matter and can be commonly found in oil and gas operations, mining facilities, sewage, waste water treatment plants, landfills, and other places. Due to hydrogen sulfide is so dangerous, workers are required to follow certain safety standards such as monitoring the air in the workplace and providing engineering controls. However, one of the most safety measures to be taken is to help workers understand how to protect themselves against this gas. Hence, if all personnel are aware of the hazards of H2S and follow the established safe working procedures, they may work around hydrogen sulfide safely. Hydrogen sulfide is an invisible, odorless, flammable, corrosive, and poisonous gas whose molecular structure consists of two atoms of hydrogen bounded to a single atom of sulfur. This gas poses a great threat to worker health and lives. If it is not treated with care and proper personal protective equipment. One of the main distinctive characteristics of H2S is the extremely unpleasant odor at low concentrations, similar to that of rotten eggs. That's why H2S is often referred to as steam gas or sour gas. Since hydrogen sulfide quickly deadens your sense of smell, neutralizing the olfactory nerves, personnel cannot rely on their nose since they are incapable of alerting them of the presence of H2S and due to its rapid action, hydrogen sulfide is considered one of the most dangerous and deadly industrial gases. In addition, H2S is also highly flammable since it has a flash point of 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that it can catch fire and burn at any temperature at or above 500 degrees if conditions are right. 500 degrees Fahrenheit is lower than you might think since the end of a cigarette burns approximately at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. Hence, smoking is prohibited in or near any area where there may be the possibility of the presence of H2S. Moreover, H2S is highly corrosive in certain metals and can cause a buildup of iron sulfide scale inside the pipes. So, prolonged contact with it may corrode and weaken the metal pipes, resulting in a leak or exposure incident. Hydrogen sulfide is recoverable from natural gas and petroleum refining operations, and it is converted into sulfuric gases or high-quality sulfur. On the other hand, hydrogen sulfide is disposed of by burning in flares, but when it burns, it produces sulfur dioxide, or SO2, which is another poisonous gas. SO2 is also highly toxic as well as irritating to the eyes. It may also cause serious injuries or death. There are many different dangers associated with hydrogen sulfide, but the principal one is inhalation. At low concentration levels, prolonged exposure to H2S may cause the following symptoms individually or in combination. Fatigue, eye irritation, headache, dizziness, excitement, coughing, drowsiness, nausea, and pain in the nose, throat, and chest as well. At high concentrations levels, hydrogen sulfide intensifies these symptoms 
and may cause death immediately. H2S, high toxicity to humans, makes it an extremely harmful and dangerous gas. H2S at concentrations exceeding 100 parts per million may neutralize the olfactory nerves, resulting in loss of smell capacity. Thus, worker may experience breathing difficulties above 320 parts per million, and exposure to concentrations beyond this level may be fatal. So, a single breath of hydrogen sulfide at 1,000 parts per million may result in immediate collapse and suffocation. Among the safety measures to be taken to further improve personal life's integrity, convenient guidance on the dangers of H2S must be provided to the safety management system. Furthermore, workers must be given with correctly calibrated H2S gas detectors and appropriate training in their use to minimize the risks. Because of H2S is heavier than air, the atmosphere of any confined or enclosed space must be measured at various heights and sites to make an accurate assessment of H2S levels of concentration. Due to the fact that in the engine room fuel oils are treated, handled, and heated to higher temperatures, which cause a rapid evolution of this gas, and taking into consideration that H2S is heavier than air, its accumulation in the machinery space bilges and below the lower engine room plates is a potential threat to all the personnel in the engine room. Consequently, if gas detectors indicate that the level of concentration of H2S exceeds the exposure limit that is 10 parts per million, then the recommendation will be the immediate evacuation of the area. In addition, all accommodation openings such as doors and portholes should be kept closed at all times with clear notices posted in this location as to the presence of H2S. Finally, storage tanks that contain residual dirty oil must be emptied at regular times to ensure there is no buildup of hydrogen sulfide over the time. That's all folks, thanks for your attention, see you next video.